Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome to my top 5 games of 2014. Today I am talking to Sips. Hi. Hi Sips. Hi. So, you don't really have 5 games, do you? I don't even play 5 games. No. I don't think I've even played 5 different games this year. No. Well, I changed because of you, I changed the rules. So it's not like games that have necessarily been released this year. Okay. But like games that you've played this year that yeah. you're like really hot for. Okay. So, should we start with number 5 and at least try to get some sort of order? I think I know what your number 1 is going to be. What? I think it's going to be... No, I'm not going to say it because you're going to like screw me over or something like that and embarrass me. What? What? Mind. Like just come out of left field with like yeah. Pokemon... <laughs> Pokemon Alpha Omega or whatever the new one uh, is. Ruby. Ruby. Uh, Omega and... Magnesium. Sapphire. I, I don't... I, I, even I don't know. And I'm a big oh, okay. Pokemon fan, but wow, I'm okay. confused. Jeez. I'm confused well, by what's going on. Well, if you're a Pokemon on. fan, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. I have no hope. Yeah. Um, so what what do you think is your number five game of 2014? My number five game of 2014 is Gary's Mod. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do play enough of it. I play a lot of it, yeah. yeah. It is very good fun. It, for me, Gary's Mod is like playing Mario Party with your friends, like when you used to have like a Nintendo 64. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. And there's a lot of variety too, like the different game modes and stuff. Because like we play a lot of Murder and TTT, mm. Prop Hunt, but there's more than that as well. Like Death Run was pretty fun. Um, but like you tend to play TTT more because there's more strategy to it, mm. sort of thing. But it's good. Is it's there? fun. I just and it came out crying. like millions of years ago. Um, and it's still very fun. But I think this probably is the year of like. TTT and Gary's mod for you. Like, every time I look at your channel, there's more Gary's mod. I know, yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, it's all we play. Like, yeah. you just hook up with your friends to play it, and it's so much fun to play. Yeah. And it certainly seems like you're playing it all the time, because every time this year that I've been trying to record a creepy horror game, like yeah. Atlast or Alien Isolation recently, um, we tend to accidentally book the live stream room the same time as you're playing it because and we'll know because we'll suddenly hear Smithy shouting through the wall like <laughs> blue murder at you and we're like oh he's I guess he's playing murder then you yeah, know? Like, yeah. yeah he says some rather salty things too he does he's yeah. a very salty individual but yeah. then so am I depending mm. uh, on, on the game. Yeah. I get really salty when I play GTA. Yeah. But I think we got our own back on you recently because you? we booked a session, but we were playing eight player oh, uh, Smash Bros. Smash Brothers, yeah, yeah, we heard you guys, yeah. That was loud. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah. That's what it's like for us all a the lot time. A lot of yelling. Yeah. I know, and we almost felt bad because it sounded like you guys were having way more fun than we were. We totally were. We totally absolutely were, I won't lie. It was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot oh, of chaos. Maybe I should start playing Smash Bros then. Yeah, join me. I've got it in the office if you want. Mm. <laughs> Is it like Street Fighter? Um, yes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. I like Street Fighter. I can uh, play that. Okay, so that's your number five. That's my number five. So what's in at number four? In at number four is... What have I played this year, even? <laughs> what did it... Oh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Ah, there you go. That's okay. a game that came out this year yeah. that I really, really liked. I didn't really like the ending, though. No? Uh, but the actual game itself and the graphics, holy shit, they were fucking fantastic. Mm. Really cool game. Really atmospheric. Really, like, sort of makes you feel uneasy, but doesn't have, like, any, like, jump scares. Well, yeah. there was one. Um... <laughs> And I got very angry. Yeah? <laughs> Is that how you respond to <laughs> That's jump scares? That's how I respond, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It was good. It's a really, really good game. I really liked it. That's my number four, for sure. Yeah? Do you think you'll do more horror on your channel? No. No? I, I can't. I can't do it. I get, like, I'm okay with it, and then if I think about it too much, I don't I don't like it sort of thing. So yeah. Maybe, like, randomly, but not, not consistently, for mm. sure. I have this horrible thing that if I play horror at home, my PC's upstairs, like, in a study, and, but there's a big gap behind my desk, so I get this thing where I'll play horror late at night and then I'll stop playing and then I'm like, I really want to leave this room and turn around, but I don't want to turn around because yeah. I'll, ju I'll just think something's behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's all quiet and you hear like a creak in your house and you're like, oh god, yeah. no, the yeah. boogeyman has broken into my house and he's yeah. going to steal all my MP3s off my computer. I know, right? I don't god. think I even have any because I just have Spotify, but even then, I yeah. just, yeah, I, I, I don't want him looking at my computer. There, no. There are things on there's there. There's like that... really personal holiday pictures and everything, yeah. like sync to the cloud. Pretty but much. He could take them. <laughs> Because that's what he'd do. Yeah, well, in this day and age, yeah. Traditionally, he would murder you. Mm. But nowadays, it's obviously a lot more um, sort of disastrous to your life if he steals your uh, identity and your digital property. 
So. What about if he deleted all your saves? Oh fuck! Don't even say that. What about if he deleted? What about if? What if he, he caused your hard drive to crash? Yeah. Wait, isn't that what happened to you? Yeah. Have you been haunted? Have you yes. had your office exercised? I have been stalked and uh, I fell victim to the boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Yeah, it happened. Okay, so that was number four. It was number the vanishing four, of Ethan Carter. The vanishing of Ethan Carter. I found him in the end. Yeah. And I was disappointed. But don't let the ending throw you off. It was a very good game. Okay. It's very worth playing. Okay, so number three. Number three for me would be... Um, did the Don't Starve Reign of Giants come out this year? I think it did, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I really like that. It's a good expansion. So that's my number three. What I've played happens, it a lot. What happens in the expansion? Because I haven't caught up with it. It makes yet. it just a lot more difficult. It adds. What? Yeah, it makes it so that like summer is as tricky as winter to deal with. Oh my god! You have to like build a reverse fire almost like to combat um, spontaneous combustion and stuff like oh that. Oh my god! No yeah, yeah. way! It just makes it really hard. There's a lot of rain. And there's like this new mechanic where you get soaked and it drives you insane. So you have to have like a hat and an umbrella. All your stuff can get soaked and ruined. Like, it's just nails now. It's so fucking hard. Why? But what? Don't Starve was hard enough already to start with. Why would you do this to yourself? I think just to make it more challenging and just to give people more sort of like options for playing and stuff. And there's like the caves and stuff as well, which are like fucking nails too. I don't know how to survive down there either. Yeah. Uh, but it's but it's very fun. I don't I there's just something about Don't Starve that I just really love. I love like the art style and I yeah. love the, the I love the way the gameplay flows and you could tell that they think a lot about how people are playing the game and stuff and they don't sort of I like how there's elements of the game that are sort of like taken from popular games, but you can tell that they're not just making a game filled with gimmicks to make it popular sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you can tell that they really sort of, like, concentrate on the gameplay and they, they care about how people play the game and stuff like that. And I think that's important. And I don't think a lot of companies really do that anymore. Yeah? So, so that's good. What's the longest you survived and Don't Starve? Oh, God, my first... When I played through uh, before the expansion came out with Willow, I got to, like, 165 Whoa. days or something. I survived for a long-ass time. Oh, my God. It was crazy. Yeah. I think it was a bit easier back then, because I haven't been able to survive much past, like, 25 days yeah. since the new expansion came out, so... That's awesome, because I can't make it past, like, five days. It's hard. I, yeah, I'm it really stumped. Yeah. You sort of, like, at first, the, the big thing you want to prepare for is getting attacked by dogs, mm. and then generally just, like, gathering food and stuff, because you tend to sort of spawn in in spring. So you get through a summer, um, you get through, like, a fall, and then winter usually hits, that, like, day sort of 20 to 25 or whatever. So you spend, like, the start of the game getting ready for that. Um, but then there's so many like different things in the expansion that can pop up and kill you now That's like harder to sort of do that. It's weird. It's good though. It's fun it's I'm gonna honest. Fun. I don't think I could play that like given that I can barely survive the original game I, I don't I, I, summer being treacherous too. You have to like... persevere <laughs> I tried! Yeah. You I can't tried. just give up after five days. I tried! Jeez. Gosh. But those dogs, like you said, and then I got, I think it was those bees dogs. that did me the last time. Yeah, I've got, I've been done by bees. I got done by penguins. Penguins? Yeah. Penguins. I made it to winter and I was like, oh shit, yeah, you know, I'll survive this winter or whatever. And then a flock of penguins attacked me and killed me. That's some. Um... Do they travel in a flock? Embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. A swarm. A swarm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll a, just swarm a on you. A death ball of penguins. And feast on your corpse. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, they have sharp beaks. Yeah. Pretty and much. are generally untrustworthy as well. I think so. But they're kind of cute too. Like how that's, they waddle But that's how they get you. That's yeah. That's the same with polar bears. Yeah. You think they're all cute and then they maul you and it's yeah. like, well, maybe not so cute now that my throat has been ripped out. Have you ever seen polar bears dead. hunting? Because they, yeah. like, cover their nose up. Yeah, they do, yeah. Nose. They're just, um, they're really clever, aren't they? Yeah. They can swim, they can, like, survive, like, intense cold. They're really adaptable, I think. Yeah. And they hide their noses. Because they, they know there's the one bit of yeah. camouflage that gives them away. That's smart. That's evil. But smart. They, they're not white as snow, though. Do you find they go a bit beige? But then snow, they're I don't like think, is white, They're, like, soaked in pee though, or something, it? I think. I think they pee on themselves. Wow. I Maybe that's like a thing to like throw you off the scent or whatever. But you'd think that like it would make a bigger scent. You could smell pee from a mile away, sort yeah. of thing, and then you would just run away because you knew that it was just like that weird polar bear that pees all over himself and hides his nose. And hides his nose. He's not fooling anyone. 
Moving swiftly on. Yeah. So that's Don't Starve Rain at Giants at three. <laughs> yes. And we've, um, I've done it. I've thought of three. But yeah. the last two are easy. Yeah. I had those ones in my mind. I actually had to think about the other ones. Yeah. So number two is... Reaper of Souls! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said this last year I did. As well. It wasn't out last year, but I was like looking so forward to it. So Reaper of Souls is the Diablo 3 expansion that came out was finally released early this year mm -hmm. um, and transformed the game, completely changed it. So Diablo 3 came out, it was sort of met with a lot of disappointment, there was a lot of hype around it because Diablo 2 was such a big important game at the time, same with the expansion that came out for Diablo 2. Diablo 3 came out, everybody was really disappointed, there was some really, really weird choices that they made in the, in the gameplay and just the overall mm -hmm. design of the game. And Reaper Souls was basically an extra act to the campaign, uh, sort of furthering the, the storyline, but also fixing all of the broken shit in Diablo 3. And they, they did it. Like, mm -hmm. the turnaround was insane. It was so good. They made the game um, playable again. Uh, they, they got people sucked into it again. But I don't know if it's just the genre now or the way that people play it or maybe that it's sort of up alongside something like wow or something but for me I can play it a lot and I, I do this like when they release like a, even like a like a mini patch for it like or hot fixes or they fix something I'll play it a lot like I'll mm -hmm. play it like steadily for like two weeks but then I'll stop again yeah so it doesn't have that same pull that Diablo 2 had where I mean Diablo 2 I play every day mm -hmm. for months and months and months and months like years even because it was just so like addictive and great and everything, but I feel like that's been replaced now by WoW. Yeah. WoW is like the big one that you sort of go back to and you play a lot of. Um, but it's really nice to just jump into uh, Reaper Souls when stuff has changed and there's new stuff out or whatever, and play it for like a couple of months even. Uh, and then because it's just so punchy and fast and responsive and. Blizzard games are great like that. You know, you mm. press a button and it's very satisfying. Like all the the spell effects are amazing. Like the abilities are all cool and everything. It's all well balanced, very polished and stuff like that. Um, and with Diablo, you know, you you oftentimes hit something once and it dies. You know, you don't have like these epic standoffs like you do with a bear in WoW, like where it takes like ten years to kill it. Sort of thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Reaper Souls definitely my number two. Um, have you great. played any of it on your channel? Um, no, no. I, th I played a bit of it with Lewis on yeah. our other channel, um, and I think we're going to continue that. What's that channel name? Uh, it's Team Double Dragon, mm -hmm. uh, for two dudes that like dragons. Yeah. Um, that's where we played it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's it's a really fun game. It's mm. it's great. If you like like action RPGs or whatever, it's good. Mm. I love okay. it. So, I think you touched on it earlier, yeah. but I think it's going to come as no surprise as to what your number one game of 2014 is, and it is... Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, Warlords of Draenor! Woo! Man, I was so excited for it to come out, and I was not disappointed. It is great. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really good. Lots of nostalgia, lots of like fan service, lots of great uh, old characters are back because of this weird bullshit alternate reality, but it, it's worked. Like, they've done it. They've pulled it off. It's really good. Ah, oh, it's great. It's so good. I can't believe this game's been out for 10 years. I can't believe like I've made so many friends and just like had so much fun with this game for 10 years and mm. for it to release an expansion uh, this year after 10 years and it be so much fucking fun to play and everything is great. It's yeah. just so good. Have you played it pretty much every single day since it's come out? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, even here, I don't have, like, my computer. I can still, like, log in and fucking do my wizard chores and do shit. It's awesome. It's so fun. It's that's good. that's the funny thing. I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually properly play it yet. But every day that I come Blasphemy in, Kim. everyone is playing it, like, every day, checking yeah. on their dailies. And I'm amazed that it's had so much staying power. That it's even crazy, dailies... I know. And the thing is, you can tell that it's a good expansion when people are complaining about it. Because, like... Duncan like complains about it, but he'll still play it every yeah. day. Like even begrudgingly, he'll still do his like wizard chores and everything because like, it's such a long play game, isn't it? There's always like stuff to do in the short term, but there's always like stuff that you want to do for the long term as well, like like legendary quests and like 
gathering materials to like craft shit and whatever and get achievements and everything. There's just so much to do and so many people have come back to play it. Like a lot of old people that we used to play with are back、mm. playing in various guilds and stuff. And it's really good. It's, for, it's very sort of like a lot of it is very throwback to like vanilla and like the Burning Crusade, which is nice.、Mm. Like those were both like really good times for WoW. Leading into like Wrath of Lich King. And apparently, they've already started working on the next expansion for、What? a while. So it's going to be around for. They're saying that they want it to be around for another 10 years. Yeah. Which I think they could. It's doable. Yeah, yeah I think it's doable. doable. But how do you think it compares to. So I started playing World of Warcraft quite late. So just before. Maybe a few months before Pandaria dropped. Okay. And I'll be honest, like, I, I enjoyed it, but、yeah. I found it dead because, like, everywhere I was going to do my leveling up, it was empty. Yeah. And there、I、wasn't mean, a great deal going. And even when Pandaria launched, it was still like. No, there was a bit of buzz, but it was still like. It was, yeah. Pandaria was, I, Pandaria was a good expansion in the sense that it introduced a lot of cool systems to the game. Like,、mm. you know, we got like looking for raid from, through Pandaria. We got a lot of like the group finding tools. Like, they really streamlined a lot of stuff. They, they made like a lot of really good sort of like design decisions based off like feedback they got in Pandaria and everything. They changed like all the rating based off like stuff that they did in, in, in Pandaria and everything. Simplified like all the systems. Like, Flex, like all that stuff is really, really good in Pandaria. So, like, technically, it was a very good expansion, but like, I think that like the setting and the lore and everything was a bit jarring for people. I don't、mm. think people, it didn't feel very Warcraft y. And whilst like the zones were very like well done and beautiful, like, you could tell like the world design team just like had like some sort of like huge, like. You know, golden era like in Pandaria, like especially like in the Jade Forest, like where there was all like those like hidden little things that you could explore,、mm. shit that you could pick up and stuff like that.、Uh, it just, I, I don't know, like it it would have made, it would have been better if it was more of like a Warcraft y expansion,、yeah. you know, like there was like a lot more focus on like, you know, like either the Orcs or the Alliance or whatever. It was or, quite cutesy, I think. It was a little bit cutesy, it was a little bit sort of like, I don't know, like. Some of, like, you know, like the, like all like the pandas were all like sort of like laid back and like meditating, and it was all like, it was like a <laughs> journey of like self discovery and like、yeah. all this weird shit, you know, like manifestations of emotions and stuff. And like, <laughs> and you just want to have war. Yeah, ex- absolutely. And that's why, like, Like, Draenor is so cool because it's like this Iron Horde is like, they've got like all these fucking cool cannons and machines and shit, and it feels very much like vanilla in some in some ways. You know, like the first time as an Alliance player you come across like a Horde in Kem, you're like, oh fuck yeah, this is so cool, and like, you know, you're, you're fighting these like brutal orcs and stuff all the time, and it feels very Warcrafty again, which、yeah. is good. Um, and yeah, I think like they've introduced like a lot of cool technical stuff in this expansion as well. Like, leveling through Draenor is amazing, it's, it, it's so much better. Like, the storylines and just the way that they sort of like flow quests and hubs and stuff together and everything is a lot less, it feels like a lot less grindy.、Mm. Like, leveling from,、um, was it like, was it 85 to 90? 90? Was it 80 to 90 or was it 85 to 90? Cataclysm was 80 to 85, wasn't it? I was it five think, levels? Yeah, it、or? must have been because I hit about 85 before Pandaria came out. I don't know what it was or what it was it more.、Yeah. I can't even remember now, which is kind of weird, but it just felt like it took forever to fucking hit、yeah. max level in Pandaria. And like in Draenor, you can do it in, in like way under a week, sort of thing. Yeah.、Uh, which is great. It means that you can get to like the end game very quickly. Fart around with like your garrison and stuff like that. And it's, it's, a, it's a lot better. It's, it's very, very good. They've、mm. made like a lot of progress. And I think it shows in the numbers too. A lot of people come back. They're back up above like 10 million subs and、yeah. stuff like that. And it's, I think it's good. I think it's in a good spot now. And, and very fun. And I play it all the time. That's awesome. All hell World of Warcraft. It's interesting seeing how many people are saying that is number one. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get a clean, clean sweep of Yogg's cast members who say it's number one. Why? Who said that it's number one for them? Everybody,、um, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to be talking to Rhythian next as well, so I think we can guess. Yeah, his, I think all、like. five of his top five will be Blizzy World, games. World of Warcraft, basically. Yeah. He loves it. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, more than all of us, I think, combined, he loves it. It terrifies me how much lore he knows. He knows an awful lot about everything to do with World of Warcraft and、yeah. Warcraft in general. Like,、yeah. he's, he's like the ultimate like, fan, I think. Yeah, I think just even when I was leveling 
um, way before um, Draenor came out, and I'd be like, uh, I need to do this quest like here, and I need to talk to this dude, and I'll give the vaguest description yeah, ever, and, and he'll he just know. Yeah. And he'd be like, oh, just go here, and it's this, and but it's like he broken. knows names and stuff yeah. as well. Like I'm always like, just talk to that fucking guy whose name I ne would never remember or yeah. be able to pronounce right or whatever, and he's like has like perfect pronunciation yeah. of everything, and he knows the knows backstory, the, name, the yeah. backstory where they are and everything, it's <laughs> and what crazy. item they're gonna give you. Yeah. It's, How? It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so there we go. See, that wasn't so painful, it was, was it? Sis? It wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. Yeah. I was interrupted, though. It's got to be said. I was playing WoW, and then Kim dragged me down. I here, did Kim not drag you. Playing. I said, since you got a free moment, do you want to come for a chat? I had many chores to accomplish. Well, now you can go back to your chores. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you very much for joining okay, us. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Gotta go do my chores. Bye. <laughs>